Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer and today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro in the brand new Pacific Blue color. I'm very interested to see what it really looks like. Is it more like a slate blue, teal blue, ocean blue? It's so hard to tell from the pictures online. I'm also excited to try it out with a new MagSafe charger. I'm loving the idea of the new MagSafe functionality. I just hope it's going to be as great as they say. Let's get this unboxed and check it out. The box looks really different this year. It's much smaller because Apple is including fewer accessories inside. I do love the picture on the box, however. Last year's boxes were a bit stark looking. These are much nicer. Opening it up, very exciting. Can't wait to see what the iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue actually looks like. And the answer is, wow, it looks absolutely stunning. This is so much prettier a color than I expected. What a beautiful phone. So nice. Let's just set this aside here and see what else is in the box. So we got our little packet here of boring things. There's never anything exciting in here. Well, we got a SIM removal tool. That's Perhaps the best thing in here, a little bit of regulatory info, etc. Oh look, and an Apple sticker. And then a charging cable, and no earbuds, and no power adapter. Not exactly surprising, but kind of disappointing anyway. So this charging cable is lightning to USB-C, so it's not going to work with any of those old 5-watt Apple power adapters that you might have lying around. Those work with USB-A cables, not this USB-C. So if you want to use the cool new cable, you're going to have to shell out another $19 to get the 20-watt power adapter that Apple recommends. This is also going to work with the power adapters that shipped with the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max last year, but unless Unless you're upgrading from one of those phones, you are out of luck. But what Apple really wants you to buy is the new MagSafe charger, which retails for $39. And of course, you have to have that $19 USB-C charger in order to make the whole thing work. I guess if you're going to be spending over $1,000 on a phone, then spending $40 here and $20 there isn't such a big deal, but it does feel like Apple is cheaping out a little bit here. If the MagSafe charging experience is supposed to be such a big deal for the iPhone 12 series phones, then Apple should have included the MagSafe safe charger and power adapter in the box. I can see skipping the earbuds, fine, but MagSafe is a key feature of the phone. Unwrapping the phone, just like last year, we only have a protective sheet on the front of the phone and nothing on the back, and this time it's made of paper, not plastic. And for those of you that are curious about this little sticker here, it's because of some sort of Chinese regulatory thing, and it's here because I bought this phone at an Apple store in Shanghai. Initial impressions here, really premium looking phone. I'm loving these squared edges. They have such a nice look, such a refreshing change. And the fact that we no longer have a curved screen on here is going to make screen protectors so much easier. This is just a beautiful phone. Feels very solid, very well made. Although I will say that these glossy sides are definitely catching fingerprints. But I'm probably going to keep this in a case all the time anyway, so for me, that doesn't much matter. Unsurprisingly, we have a new chip in the iPhone 12 series, the A14 Bionic chip. And of course, we finally have 5G, although only iPhones purchased in the U.S. are going to get this super fast millimeter wave form of 5G. In fact, the U.S. phones get two forms of 5G, millimeter wave and a slower kind of 5G called sub-6. They even have a special additional antenna on the side for their millimeter wave. But as I said, I got this one here in Shanghai, so no additional antenna spot for me just a plain side. I actually don't know which side it's going to be on. I think it's on the other side, but maybe it's on this side. Anyway, it's clearly not here because this is not a U.S. purchased phone. So phones that are purchased in other countries are only going to have access to the slower type of 5G, which is something called Sub-6. So that'll still be good. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with any kind of 5G at this point. We've definitely been waiting long enough. Really glad that we finally have a 5G-capable phone here with the 12 Pro. 
Our front camera is basically the same as last year from what I understand, but it does have the addition of night mode and something called deep fusion. The screen is beautifully bright, same amount of brightness as last year. Apple calls this a Super XDR Retina display, and it is OLED just like last year. Even the non-pro iPhone 12s are OLED this year. No more LCD screens. And the screen is now made of a material called ceramic shield. This is a special kind of glass that has nano ceramic crystals infused into it. And the result is a material that's not even technically classified as glass anymore. I guess that's why they call it ceramic shield. And it's going to give you four times better drop performance when compared with the iPhone 11 Pro screens. That is a major step up. It's important to note that Apple's not saying much about improved scratch resistance, only improved drop performance. So I'm definitely planning on using a screen protector to protect this beautiful screen, at least for now. But really excited about the new ceramic shield. We have a 6.1 inch screen on the Pro this year which is larger than the Pro screen size last year and I have to say that when I originally heard that the 12 Pro was going to have a 6.1 inch screen I was really worried that the phone was going to be too big. I had the 11 and the 11 Pro this last year and found that the 6.1 inch screen size on the 11 made the phone just a little bit bigger than I liked. You get a noticeably larger screen for only a tiny bit bigger phone size. Definitely a win for the 12 Pro there. Looking at the back of the phone, it is simply stunning. Such a beautiful and unusual shade of blue, but I'm still not quite sure what color it is. Is this a teal blue or perhaps an ocean blue or maybe slate blue or even sky blue? What about a cerulean blue or dark cyan or azure? You tell me in the comments what color you think it is because I really don't know. I just know that it's stunning and original and gorgeous and that I'm really happy that I chose it for my iPhone 12 Pro. We have a matte finished glass on the back of the phone just like the Pro models last year. Feels great to touch and it's much more fingerprint resistant than a glossy finished glass. The shiny stainless steel sides certainly show fingerprints easily however. And just like last year our camera square sticks out a little bit but I guess everyone's used to that by now. We definitely have some camera improvements this year. We have a new LiDAR sensor. The camera does night mode portraits and there's something called Apple Pro Raw and then there are a few more bells and whistles in the video recording area. Night mode time lapse and HDR video recording with Dolby Vision. But we still have the same wide, ultra wide and telephoto lenses as last year and the same amount of optical zoom. We have an increased amount of water resistance this year, a truly impressive IP68. The phone is rated to survive up to 30 minutes of immersion at a 6 meter depth, although it's important to note that Apple does say that this water resistance may decline over time and that water damage to your phone is not covered under warranty. So if you're planning to swim with your phone, I would advise putting it in a waterproof case. Looking at our new MagSafe charger, again this is not included in the box with the iPhone 12 Pro. You have to buy it separately for an additional $39. This new charging technology uses a ring of implanted magnets in the back of the iPhone in order to attach onto the MagSafe charger perfectly every time to give you super fast 15 watt wireless charging. That's twice as fast as the 7.5 watts that iPhones normally wirelessly charge at, although it's not going to be as fast as what you get if you plug in your phone to charge with the 20 watt USB-C charger that Apple recommends you buy. I'm loving the size of the MagSafe charger. It's larger than an Apple Watch charger, but not too bad. And because it sticks onto the back of your phone, you can continue to use your phone normally while charging. And the click that it makes when it connects with a sweet spot on the back of your phone is really satisfying. Of course, the introduction of MagSafe is really shaking up the case industry. To get a MagSafe case, you currently have to either go with an Apple case or buy one of OtterBox's MagSafe cases. They're the only official third-party MagSafe case supplier so far but I'm sure that's going to change soon. 
Thanks so much for joining me for my iPhone 12 Pro unboxing. My channel focuses primarily on Apple accessories and I'm going to be reviewing a whole lot of cases and screen protectors for the 12 Pro and 12 Mini coming up. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And do let me know what you think of the 12 Pro and the new Pacific Blue color in the comments section below. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.